Nigeria's president, Bola Tinubu, today received the business tycoon Aliko Dangote and Bill Gates at a state house in Abuja. The visit is part of the Gates Foundation's commitment to working closely with communities and leaders to support innovation. Expected to be discussed at the meeting includes holding, that's holding behind closed doors are issues of global health and development, even as the concern Nigeria within the community of nations. The president also held a meeting with the United States Assistant Secretary of State, Bureau of Energy Resources, Ambassador Geoffrey Truck, as well as the GCEO NNPC, Melekiari. Nigerians have been getting quite a lot. All what they have to uh, start expecting is to expect more. We expect more from the government in terms of cooperation and we will also do more on our side. It's going to be better for everybody. There will be more money now to put into education, into health, infrastructure and other areas. And our own uh, side is to help support him to make sure that he, he achieves his own vision and his goals. Joining me to discuss this is a former Deputy Financial Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Oladimeji Fabi. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Fabi. Now, after his inauguration as Nigeria's president, Tinubu has continued to receive in audience of various prominent guests um, in Asarok. What significance do these meetings hold for the president and for the nation? <clears throat> okay, thank you very much, and uh, thank you, viewers. Uh, thank you for bringing me to. Um, I, I think it, uh, it, it, it's, not, it's nothing extraordinary. It, uh, it's normal when you have a new government, and then uh, there's need to reach out to really ascertain uh, what, are the, what are the things that, are, that are must be done to be able to achieve your, your, your stated objectives. As the government, you want to come into government, you must have campaigned on so many things that you want to do for the people. And it behoves on you when you come in to look for those people, to receive those people who you feel they can help you achieve those objectives you have set out for your, I mean, to achieve for the nation and the people. So it's nothing extraordinary, it's nothing new. Uh, previous presidents, when they came in, they go through the route, I mean, the same route meeting people, meeting uh, individuals, meeting <laughs> groups. Some will come on, um, on uh, what do you call it, solidarity. Some will come to come and show their, I mean, pledge their support. Some will come to do business. So it's a combination of all these that makes up a government. So it's all nothing right. new. Uh, 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 please, let, me quickly, let, me quickly, let me quickly correct this. I'm not a deputy. I'm not a deputy financial secretary. I was a former chief accountant, and I, mean, I was a member of PG Presidential Campaign Council. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we apologize for the error. All right. Um, you, you, you said the meeting is not new, but some people are attaching significance. The previous administration had some energy policy, which a lot of persons didn't score very high. But when you look at a meeting between the United States Assistant Secretary of State, Bureau of energy resources, um, and then you have the GCEO of the NNPC, Melek Kiari. Uh, does this indicate anything about the president's um, attitudes towards not just the energy sector, but the country's economy? Let me tell you, <clears throat> sincerely, it is part of, it is still part of building and putting your, your government in, uh, in a good stead. Um, the, no, no country is an isolation of itself. And don't forget, the last government did very badly. They, they performed abysmally, so, so abysmally, and Nigerians are not happy for it. So it behoves on the current president to see how he can take it up from that place. So he is, every, Nigeria is having an energy problem. Nigeria is having security problem. Nigeria is having health problem. So many things that, 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 are, that are not really good. But so the president must be able to devise, must be able to think outside the box, meet those people that can actually help, you know, the, the, help the country grow, help the country get, you know, to get to where they're suppo we're supposed to be. Uh, uh, you, you, nobody will deny the fact that things are not right with Nigeria as we speak. So the, pres the current president, I don't have any, I don't envy him. He has a lot to do, apart from the fact that 
you know, there is no, um, I, I don't know whether he has money to even run this government. Oh, quickly, so there in, the, are other... in the interest of time, sorry to interject again, in the interest of time, uh, let's talk quickly about Dangode's comment to uh, reporters after the meeting. He reacted to the removal of fuel subsidy, uh, saying it will open up better financial capabilities for the country to invest in other areas. And you could see Bill Gates nodding uh, to his comment. What is your reaction to that comment? Considering well, yeah, well, he has see, the biggest the, the, uh, refinery. Let me, t let me tell you something. We are here to see all of these things. I commend Dan Gutti for his efforts. Do you understand? But we are here to see them. Have. This government is just at its infancy. So we will, Nigerians are waiting. We will see how far this can take Nigeria. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good thing that president is meeting all of these big guys to see how they can help. And uh, like I said, I commend his efforts. But we are here to see. Nigerians are waiting. What we need is action. What we need is performance, not talk. So when we begin to see the result of all of this, then Nigerians will be able to take a decision. All right, Mr. Fabi, thank you very much for giving us your time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much.